Hey hey everyone, Carlopix here and today I thought I'd do a little bit of tool modification. <laughs> so I'm going to take this drill pen and try to make it more suitable for me to use. Now I had a video not too long ago where I showed a couple of new diamond painting tools that I had acquired. One being this pen, one being the large tray with the trapdoor dealy. Um, I put a link up here, just click on that I if you want to see that video. But just very quickly, in that video, um, my first impressions, you know, before I started to use it were quite nice because it's got a nice soft rubbery body and it had a cap and I thought that was really cool. Now, upon trying it out in that video, Oh, let me quickly let you know, after that video I was informed that this stuff in the cap is actually like the pink wax. Um, you're supposed to use it to fill the drill pin with. It's not, like it, in the video I was like maybe you just use it to snake it down on your workspace and it holds it in place. But yeah, it's actually the like the pink wax except it's the blue wax. Um, my issue with this though, and thank you everyone who let me know that. Um, I, my issue with this is that it's poor packaging design. There's no covering, there's no cap or anything on this wax, so it picked up quite a bit of dust and hair and debris, actually little bits of diamonds there in here. And it's kind of gross, and I don't want to use that in my drill pen. So I just think, whilst it was really kind of them to supply the wax, I just think it should have been packaged a little bit better. So. Thank you, but not too impressed with that. <laughs> but the main uh, star of the show is the pen. And when I got to using it in the last video, found out that it's very bendy, very, very flexible, which for me and the way that I hold my pen doesn't help at all. I would, I could probably use this for 15 minutes before I get a hand cramp and that's no good. I'm a firm believer in being comfortable and you know healthy about diamond painting so that you can diamond paint longer and prevent any kind of injuries that will stop you from diamond painting <laughs> so yeah you know wrist exercises get up and stretch make sure you've got a nice chair and you know if you've got one of those desks that come up at an angle that's even better just make sure you watch your posture all of that jazz so that doesn't quite fit into my ideal of um, healthy and comfortable diamond painting. So today I'm going to try to mod this. I don't know if it's gonna be a success or a failure, but here we go. Uh, one of the commenters uh, mentioned the pick me up pen, Jamie, and how she has this pen as well. And she just kind of stuck it on the end of her pick me up pen. She says she doesn't use this tip at all. I use this tip sometimes, although I've stopped and I've started using tweezers a lot more lately, you know, to pick up erroneous diamonds or a diamond that I placed in the wrong spot, anything like that. So I, kind of, I totally understand replacing it. But um, I want to use this, I only use the pick me up pen for round diamond paintings. Um, because it just doesn't work as well with squares as I would have liked, but that's just the truth of it. So that being the case, instead of making a double-sided pen, which is very smart, <laughs> but I'm not quite that smart yet, I decided to make my own, its own single pen. So what I've got here is actually a drill pen, a single tip that I had made ages ago. Um, and just to see if I could mod something so that I wasn't holding on to those pink pens for ages. Um, and I really liked it, it was really easy to mod. Uh, but then I got the Stabilo and I haven't used this one since. So. <laughs> so I was thinking, hey, it's got a nice fat body, maybe it'll fit on here. So let's go ahead and give that a try. So I was thinking, don't need the bottom anymore. I'm just gonna try to slot this on here. I might have to attach it somehow or make it such a tight fit that it doesn't move. So let's go for that first. I'm going to cut it. I've got my scissors and 
I've got my wire cutters because it feels like there's wire in here, but I wasn't sure how thick that wire might be and if my scissors could cut through it, but <laughs> we'll see. Now I want to make this a little bit longer so that um, it's kind of like a tight fit. So I'm going to start long and that way if I need to cut more off, I can always do that. So I'm just going to cut off the tip. Well that was easy. And then I'm going to cut off these leaves because they're so unnecessary. And it kind of hurts to cut this thing up because I, you know, I bought it. I shouldn't have to mod this, but yeah, that's, that's just how it works. And the shape is a little bit funny, so I'm going to try to round this off a little bit. I'm going to taper this point. Okay, still just a well. It's a little bit too long, so because I want this part to meet the fat part of the pin, but that's that size is good. So let's cut a little bit more off and taper it. It was stuck in there pretty good, so I might not even need the glue. <gasps> Ooh, hey now, hey, that's looking pretty good, you guys. That's looking pretty good, actually. Um, I think that's it, you guys. I think I've done it. <laughs> um, I think I've done it. Because now I can hold it up here. And it doesn't seem... Well, it's a little loose. So maybe I should reinforce it with some glue. I'm thinking maybe some hot glue in here. But that's pretty good. Maybe I should drag out the Great Wall and give it a try. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. So give me a second. I'll be right back with a diamond painting to try this out on. <laughs> okay, I am back. So I've still got some wax in here from the last time I tried it. <laughs> Let's give this a go. How exciting. That was a lot <laughs> easier than I thought it was going to be, you guys. It's a little too stubby for my taste, but I don't think that's going to make it uncomfortable to hold, so I'm okay with that. And done. And done. Mm, okay. Definitely am going to have to reinforce it because I can't... I can't use it to adjust which is something I do quite often and I don't want to pick up another tool to adjust. Definitely need to reinforce it. Maybe even cut it down a little bit more. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to cut it down just a little bit more. Just a tad. Okay, let's try this. Oh yeah, that's a lot better that it doesn't wobble as much. In fact, maybe just a little bit more. I'm scared, I don't want to cut too much off. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this on my diamond painting. I'm gonna get like bits all up in my adhesive. All right, so I'm like screwing it on there. Oh yeah, that's a lot more. That's a lot more um, stable. All right, let's get back to it. Let's try again. Let's try again. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's. That's pretty good. Oh, that's all right. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Cause it's that's pretty sturdy now. Oh yeah. I still might glue it. 
Maybe. I don't know. You don't really need to. What you do need to do is make sure, well for me, <laughs> I need to make sure that the direction of it doesn't coincide with the... Or I guess I could take this thing off, this clip. But I like having it there. <laughs> for no reason whatsoever. Not rational. But hey, this is pretty good, actually. I think this is it, guys. I think I'm going to call this a mod success. Huzzah! Hey, yep, and here's a piece of debris. That's awesome. I think this is pretty good. I was able to adjust that as well. I mean, it's still a little wobbly, I think, because this rubber is very soft. Um, so you can adjust, but any hardcore adjustments, I would probably use the single tip. Even if I had the three, even if I was using the three, I would adjust with a single tip. So maybe I should try to mod it and put a single in here somehow. <laughs> but otherwise, um, I think I am happy with how this has come out. So I'm sure there are nicer pens, but this was a ballpoint pen that I had laying around before that seemed easy enough to convert into the single tip. And since I wasn't using that as a single tip, I said, why not? Um, it's a little stubby, but it's very stable. Like it's hard, it's easy to grip, and it's wider than the, the pink drill pens. So that was my also, also my other main goal. So I think I've turned this into a usable tool. I think I'm gonna continue using it on the uh, Great Wall. So look out for that in the next video. <laughs> Awesome. I think that's it, you guys. I think, yeah, I think that's a success. So if you've got any uh, questions or comments, suggestions, please put them down below. Happy to hear them. Thank you so much, everyone, for your support always. Hope that you have enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>